Keep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. A vision of transcendence, revelations, prophetic message of new creation. The book of Revelation, written in the late 1st century by an author named John, likely not the Apostle John, belongs to the genre of Apocalypse, a narrative with an expansive setting. This lecture delves into four key aspects of Revelation. 1. Its original audience. 2. The protagonist. 3. The antagonist. And 4. The progression toward its climactic conclusion. The original audience of Revelation is identified as the seven churches in Asia situated in Asia Minor. The challenges faced by these churches set the context for understanding the narrative. Persecution was pressing issue in Smyrna, where both local opposition and Roman authorities posed a threat. Pergamum and Thyatira dealt with assimilation feeling the pressure to compromise their belief to fit into society. The church in Laodicea faced the problem of complacency, with a sense of spiritual poverty despite material wealth. The protagonists of Revelation are God the Creator and Jesus the Lamb. The author takes readers from earth to heaven, where the dazzling throne of God is described. Four mysterious creatures symbolize God's creation, while the 24 elders represent the worshiping community on earth. The central element of God's identity is as creator, deserving of glory and honor. Jesus symbolized as both a lion and a lamb, plays a crucial role in the narrative. The antagonist of the revelation is Satan, portrayed as the destroyer. The writer emphasizes the contrast between God as the creator and Satan as a destructive force. Satan is depicted as a massive red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, infiltrating the political structures of the world. The beast closely associated with Satan rises from the sea and oppresses people embodying warfare and tyranny. The plot of Revelation centers around the question of whether people will succumb to the oppressive power of the beast or resist and follow the redemptive path of the Lamb. The narrative progresses through scenes of conflicts ultimately leading to the Lamb's victory over the beast and the Creator's triumph over the destroyer. The forces of oppression are defeated and the hope emerge in the final chapters. Revelation presents a vision of a new heaven and earth with a new Jerusalem descending from heaven. The fiction of this new Jerusalem moves beyond the cycle of conflict and loss, offering hope for different order. The book interwines themes of Jerusalem and creation throughout its courts. 
culminating in a vision of ultimate restoration and renewal. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. As we conclude our enlightening journey through the book of Revelation, we have explored the depth of its prophetic message and the hope of a new creation. Thank you for being part of this incredible series. But our exploration doesn't end here. We're excited to announce our upcoming series, The Bible, A Canonical Reading. This new series promises to deepen our understanding of Scripture, delving into its rich tapestry from the perspective of the receiving community. Guided by the Catechism of the Catholic Church, we'll unlock the Scripture, interpreting them with a key that connects our faith tradition with the living Word. It's a journey to comprehend the Bible not just as a text, but as a living conversation across time and culture. We invite you to join us in this new series. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated. Your participation, insights, and questions enrich our collective exploration. Prepare to embark on a journey that weaves together theology, history, and spirituality. Together, we'll explore how the Bible speaks to us today in our context with relevance and profound insight. So don't miss out. Subscribe, share with friends, and get ready for the Bible, a canonical reading. Thank you for your continued support and see you in the next series.